to my channel. I just want to give you a little update because I'm not in Thailand anymore. Uh, we left Thailand on Monday. We flew from Chiang Mai to Urantani. <laughs> Just stayed a night in Udantani and crossed the border to Laos. Vientian. Uh, if you don't know where Vientian is or Laos, Laos is the is a country in Southeast Asia. It's a landlocked country, neighboring Thailand, Vietnam, China, Cambodia. And I used to live here for three and a half years in the capital Vientian. I was working as a teacher in an international kindergarten, and now I'm back here, but not for long. Actually, just for a week just to get some stuff organized and also to say goodbye to my colleagues, former colleagues and to my former students as well. So I'm really excited to be back here again and yeah today I just want to show you around a little bit and as you can see I went to the hairdresser yesterday so my hair looks really short now and I still have to get used to it. I feel a little bit, I don't know, it makes me look more mature more i don't know not so playful anymore looks like a grown-up woman almost so stay tuned for my vintian exploration center of Vintian and it's sunset time so it's really busy and they just setting up the night market every night here in Vintian you have the night markets and it's really busy like tons of people come here and they also block this road behind me usually their cars are allowed to drive but at a certain time I think from 6 p.m. on they are not allowed to drive there and this is for people just for walking and a lot of people come here for running or bicycling but also a lot of aerobics and Sumba happens uh, along the Mekong and it's uh, at night it's really busy really yeah fun year to be I will show you around a bit
little houses along the Mekong. They were not here like half a year ago. So in the time we were gone, these three months, they built all these houses and everywhere you go, there are new restaurants, new cafes, new places to go. And it's constantly changing. The city is constantly changing. And it's really hard to see, but over there, there's the Mekong. But currently, uh, there's not much water. Water and emergency ambulance. And over there is Thailand as well. It's crazy, right? Like just across the river, you can be in a different country. But yeah, not much water at the moment. So in a few minutes there will be a lot of aerobics going on here. You already see some people dancing and <laughs> it's the most fun thing I think about Vintian. It's really hard to believe that I used to live here for three and a half years. I feel like only now I discover the city properly because all this time I, I don't know, I worked so much and I was always exhausted and and now I finally have the headspace to actually explore the city properly. I mean, I've seen a lot, I've done a lot, of course, in these three and a half years, but really, really being a tourist. And I think it's also, if you live in a place, you feel, I don't know, you, you don't explore as much as, you know, as when you're a tourist. So it's cool to have this time now. And lovely burning over there in Thailand and also I saw some burning over there. Too bad it's so dark already but this is my favorite place for Suma. They're just setting up so they're not quite ready yet but I used to come here a few times and it's so much fun. One hour and you only pay like 5,000 keep and Hilarious, absolutely hilarious to dance with all these Lao women and also some men actually. So I will show you some these kinds of videos just let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video